We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're taking a look at this Brother MFCJ6710 printer. And we're going to talk about some common causes of paper jams. More specifically, we're going to talk about common causes of paper jams that happen because of issues inside of your paper tray. So first thing I want to do is go remove a paper tray so we can take a better look at it. So, we open this up. Inside of this paper tray, you're going to see these three green adjustable tabs. What those are for is for adjusting this paper tray for the specific size paper you're using in this paper tray. So I'm going to pull the paper out so you can see the bottom of the printer a little bit better. If you look here at the bottom of the printer, there's several different markings for different sized pieces of paper. So it's very important that you have these little adjusting tabs set for the exact size paper you're using in this paper tray. If you have it set for a either a piece of paper that's bigger or smaller than what you're actually using. It can cause a lot of issues as far as the paper not fitting inside the paper tray correctly, making it difficult for the printer to pull it properly. It could also cause some confusion with the printer thinking there's a different size piece of paper than there really is, giving you false paper jams. So very, very important. Make sure you have all these little adjusting tabs set correctly for the specific size paper size you're using in this paper tray. Now another issue we see quite frequently comes from adding paper into the paper tray. What happens is you're getting low on paper and you go to add another stack of paper on top of it. A lot of times you'll set the paper in and kind of push it in the back. And as you see there it pushes some paper into the back of the paper tray and it can get curled up behind the paper you just added. So what happens is that squeezes that paper inside that paper tray. Especially if this has happened a couple times you've added paper two or three times and every now and then you get a little bit more paper curled up back behind there. So what happens again is it squeezes that paper in there causing the paper to be too tight inside the paper tray and it doesn't get pulled through the printer properly. So very important, whenever you add paper into the paper tray, give it a quick visual inspection on all four sides. Make sure it's a nice, clean, even stack on all four sides and you don't see any paper curled up anywhere. It'll go a long way as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you're getting. Now, the other thing that we see quite frequently comes from overfilling this paper tray. So if you look at the back of these little green tabs here in the um, you'll see there's a little little plastic nub inside of each one. And what that is, is that's to show you where your maximum fill line is. You never want to put more paper in this tray than that would go over this maximum fill line. If you overfill it, what happens is it causes the paper to be too tight up against the paper pickup assembly. And that's going to cause a lot of issues, especially initially right after you add paper, as far as paper jams go. So if you notice, right after you're adding paper, you're getting a lot of paper jams. And then it starts to get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better and kind of works its way back to normal and then you're overfilling this paper tray so it's not good for, it's for obviously it's annoying for you to have to stop and have to clear paper jams constantly it's also not healthy for the printer it can cause a lot of internal damage and a lot of excess wear on parts uh, prematurely so please make sure you're not overfilling this paper tray now if you've tried all three of those and you're still getting consistent paper jams it doesn't seem to be resolving your issue there's a good chance that the rollers could be worn outside the printer. If that's the case, please feel free to give Onyx a call. We'd love to help you out with that. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help answer those for you. Or if there's any way we can help supply with any of your printer or office supply needs, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help supply those for you as well. We hope you have a great day and are back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.